The number of COVID-19 positive patients in the state has touched 500. 26 new cases have been reported in the state on Saturday, a total of 18 deaths and 158 have recovered. Bengaluru reported 13 new COVID-19 cases on Saturday. This brings the total tally to 133 positive cases with four deaths and many haven't been discharged after recovery. Karnataka has initiated convalescent plasma therapy for critically ill COVID-19 patients. Health Minister Boya Sri Ramlu and Medical Education Minister Dr. K. Sudhakar visited Bengaluru Medical College where the trials began from today. Dr. K. Sudhakar called it a historic day for Karnataka. Karnataka Rajya K. Dundu Aitya Sikakshana Visheshwagi Covid ke pidi tragil ta kanta orge matto bala krista karva danta sthitiya lirta kanta orge idu atyanta upyukta identa nam melra baone agi de adu kosra vagi nani vinanti marthe din yar gula swayam prayinda yallar gula munduk parveko inno pori ganuko lagan ta vyavse idu plasma therapy treatment dalir oka na yallar gula swayam prayinda bandu. KSRP platoons and Garuda commandos continue to be deployed at Padra and Pura to maintain law and order. Police personnel were requesting the residents to stay indoors and only venture out to purchase essentials. Grocery stores and pharmacies are open in the containment zone to enable residents to purchase essentials. You can see that the cops too have uh, come out in large numbers. They are asking uh, the people, they are in fact requesting the people not to, you know, not to come out uh, here and uh, stay indoors as well. And uh, we see several of them also, in, uh, you know, engaging in a heated uh, argument as uh, well. And uh, they are saying that they need to go ahead and give essential commodities too. But uh, apart from that, we are also seeing the disinfectant uh, tunnel where uh, this uh, person is passing through and it is quite mandatory for all those people coming in uh, uh, out of uh, the containment zones to be disinfected. So they will be passing uh, through this uh, disinfectant uh, tunnel uh, as well. It has now come to light that around 23 police personnel in Bengaluru city have been quarantined at a hotel. According to sources, the policemen were involved in the detention and interrogation of the accused in Padranpura violence incident. The cops have been quarantined after five of the accused tested positive for COVID-19. Health officials are in a race against time to identify the source of patient number 419's virus infection. The health officials have still not been able to trace the source. The 54-year-old migrant worker who hailed from Bihar was working at a scrap shop but had stopped going to work after the lockdown. However, he had reportedly cooked meals for several labourers and was residing with several of them. Around 29 people who were contacts of patient 419 had contracted the virus infection from him. Around 185 primary contacts of patient number 419 have been identified by health officials. These contacts include around 18 children as well and around two of them are over 60 years of age. All the primary contacts have been placed under quarantine. Revenue Minister Arashoka visited Hongasandra and took stock of the situation in the containment zone. Ashoka was also accompanied by MLA Satish and Bangalore South MP Tejasvi Surya. He also heard the grievances of the residents and said that officials will address them. Health officials have set up a fever clinic at Hungasandra screen the residents for symptoms of COVID-19. This comes in the backdrop of several COVID-19 positive cases being reported from the area owing to the 55-year-old super spreader patient number 419. You know, basically fever clinics are set up over here and uh, they will basically go ahead and you know test the people if they have any symptoms of cough cold fever or flu too and quite a commendable job being done by all our frontline corona warriors over here. 
BBMP officials undertook sanitization operations in and around Vidya Jyoti Nagar of Hungasandra from where several COVID-19 positive cases have been reported. Disinfectants were sprayed as a measure to contain the spread. Ten scenes were witnessed in Gayatri Nagar after some migrant workers were spotted in the area. On questioning the workers, they revealed that they hailed from Bihar and had come to work from Hubali. Residents immediately alerted BBMP officials and the migrants were taken for a medical checkup. Residents of Tipu Nagar continue to violate lockdown norms despite the ward being sealed off after a COVID-19 death was reported. Residents were seen wandering around on the streets despite the request of volunteers who asked them to stay indoors. And meanwhile, the authorities have installed a sanitization tunnel and CCTV at the entry point of Tipu Nagar. Hundreds of vehicles were seen flying on inner and outer ring road on Saturday. This comes in the backdrop of the partial relaxation announced on the lockdown by the state government. The cops were finding it tough to manage the traffic. All vehicles were screened by traffic cops and civil police personnel while it passes. A few errant motorists were also seen involved in a war of words with the cops. Because uh, the cops have been doing this in the best interest of the citizens over here as well. And uh, they have been trying to take stock of this entire situation. But then we are having people still coming out uh, on the streets with absolutely no sort of reasons at all. And uh, you can also clearly see that uh, this particular vehicle, uh, uh, you know, this particular vehicle bearing the registration number KA01MH3689 has been seized over here. And uh, there seem to be quite a war of words over here between them. And uh, we are also seeing that a lot of vehicles too have been seized. BJP State President Nalin Kumar Katil said that he has requested the state government to increase the salary of ASHA workers. Katil urged that strict action should be taken against people who attack health officials and ASHA workers. Congress leader H.K. Patil condemned relaxation of the lockdown in the state. He has warned that relaxation of the lockdown would lead to more number of COVID-19 cases in the state. H.K. Patil later spoke on the matter as well. Residents of Banaswadi protested in front of Banaswadi police station for shifting Padranpura COVID-19 suspects to a quarantine centre near Banaswadi. The protest was led by BJP leader Padmanabh Reddy. The suspects involved in the assault against the police and health officers in Padranpura have been shifted to the centre. An IT firm located near Sarjapur has sacked as many as 200 employees. The CEO of the company has allegedly sent a termination mail to the employees and switched off his mobile phone. As many as 40 daily wagers from Bihar, Uttar Pradesh and Jharkhand are living in two containers in the judicial layout of Bengaluru for the past 20 days. Food is being supplied to the labourers by the residents. Nationwide lockdown has reportedly witnessed an increase in the number of cases of domestic violence in the state. According to reports, around 480 complaints of domestic violence have been filed. Taking cognizance of this, the Karnataka High Court has directed the state government to provide information on the action taken by the concerned departments with respect to resolving these cases. The High Court has also asked Nimhans, which is one of the main counselling centres for such cases, to provide information on the measures taken with respect to these cases via video conferencing. KSRTC has offered to provide its buses for essential services after May 3rd. Accordingly, industries, government and private offices can hire several buses including Raja Hamsa for their requirements. However, social distancing norms and other criteria have been fixed by the Transport Corporation. As per the norms, KSRTC is charging around 40,000 rupees per 40 rupees, I beg your pardon, for per kilometer and close to 8,000 rupees for 12 hours of service. Furthermore, only 20 to 30 passengers will be allowed per bus. Food and Civil Supplies Minister K. Gopalaya visited Food and Civil Supplies Godown in Anekal. The minister visited the Godown following the allegations by the Congress that supplies were being misused by the Russian shop owners, Gopalaya said. That action would be taken against the Russian shop owners 
who are misusing the government's food supplies. In a bid to help the people from the northeastern states of India who are away from their home and are stranded in Bengaluru without any way to go back home, the Northeast Solidarity NGO has come together to provide food and other essential items. This Nobel endeavor was started as soon as the lockdown was announced by the government. They are distributing 3,000 meals and 1,000 Russian kits every single day. The others are so whenever we distribute food and people come across, we don't, we give everybody. We give everybody, who, whoever is coming along. Yeah, so there is, there is no segregation of anything in distribution of. See what the number I have given, like 4,700, is only just a small number compared with the rest of the other communities. Adamya Chetana, a voluntary charitable trust, has come forward to aid families of people who are in distress due to the COVID-19 outbreak. Over 4,22,000 food packets were served and around 15,000 kits were distributed to several of these stranded families. This organization also reached out to transgenders and senior citizens. Adamya Charitable Trust distributes around 19,000 food packets every single day. Place where we are cooking food for today it is uh, 19,600 people. Uh, majority is for lunch and then we continue the cooking and uh, send the dinner. And only initial two, three days our kitchen was closed. That way last 16 years we have never locked this place. A group of engineering students of a city-based engineering college have designed a low-cost ventilator that will be helpful in treating severely ill COVID-19 patients. The students have aptly named the newly designed machine as the Jeeva Setu ventilator. The college management is planning to distribute the ventilators to hospitals treating COVID-19 patients. Each ventilator reportedly costs around 35,000 rupees. <laughs> Bengalurians who are feeling low about not being able to purchase gold this Akshya Tritiya have some good news. Several jewellers across the city are giving Bengalurians the opportunity to book and purchase gold and jewellery online through websites. However, the customers will be able to receive their jewellery only after lockdown ends. Sandalwood director Yograj Bhatt has shot an awareness song about COVID-19. The song is about essential workers and health workers who are fighting COVID-19. The song would be released in another four days. On the documentary, there are the on the hardy do. But this all one moment. No rain to how they go bandi the manukul ke. All that no that kundi jive. Ha ke corona no kuda na mati shigra dalle. That kothi ve no do na vabba nagari ka ki nanna on do yojne. In on do vara atwa on do nakar dene kudalle. This do tamu mande boro ella saathe teer. The lockdown has resulted in several blood banks across the city facing a shortage of blood. A blood donation drive was organized by Yalahanka MLA SR Vishwanath and local RSS Karyakarta to enable people to donate blood. Amid the lockdown, several blood donors took this opportunity to donate blood at the camp which was organized in Yalahanka Newtown. 